Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today we are going over February paycheck number two and this is for February the 16th through the 29th. I'm using the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook and I went ahead and wrote down my categories to save a little bit of time. I have to say this budget took me a really long time to uh, figure out. Um, I had some unexpected expenses this last week with um, my puppy. She got fixed and got her shots. It was a lot more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. So I have electric bill that I had to add into this budget um, in full and rework my sinking fund. So let me share with you what I ended up doing. So let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see. All right, so we're gonna start up here on the top left, and this is for my income. I have a full-time job. I work in kind of like tech support, customer service, sort of, kind of, and my take-home salary is $1,500. Now, that does not include things like um, health insurance and my 401k contribution. This is everything after all of my deductions and taxes. So my total is $1,500. Now I will mention that on the 21st, which is within this, um, this date range, I will receive a YouTube or Google AdSense uh, paycheck, but I am going to do that on a separate budget when I receive that income. So my, uh, what I want to do is keep my regular income and my budget for my expenses and then budget my YouTube income completely separately, um, to, um, you know, my savings goals and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, all right, so down here, we're going to go over fixed expenses. I only have two this time. First is the electric bill. It is $285. And like I mentioned, because um, Daisy got fixed and had her shots, it was a lot more than I expected. Uh, the money that I had set aside for the electric bill, I had to use. And um, so we're going to have to cover the entire electric bill with this check. This is the highest, I think, electric bill we've had so far, but it's really not surprising because in the month of January, we had some uh, days where it was in the single digits. Um, okay, so next up is the internet bill. I'm going to set aside half, and that's $55. So let's go ahead and add that up. So $55 plus $285 is $340. So I'm going to come down here and where it says total, I'm going to put 340. Now we need to figure out what's left over. So I'm going to take that away from 1500. So 1160 is what I have left to work with. Okay. Scooching down a little bit further. Now we're in my variable expenses. So we're going to carry over the leftover amount, eleven sixty, and I only have three variable expenses. This check first is food, and I budget fifty dollars a week, so that's going to give me a hundred dollars. Now my daughter lives with me, but she is more than gainfully employed. She actually makes a lot more than I do, and she budgets a hundred dollars a week for food, and she does pick up a lot of stuff that we end up using week to week. Um, and so my food budget is actually pretty minimal and um, it really covers a lot of, it covers my breakfast and lunch and we, you know, come together and um, combine our money to pay for dinner. Um, all right, next is gas for my car. I have a 2014 Kia Soul. Now, I work from home, and I don't get out and about very often, and when I do, most of the time my daughter is with me, and she actually bought um, a new-to-her car, 
And so she actually got a Kia Soul as well, a 2022. And um, eventually I'm gonna bring her budget. I need to go grab it and bring it in here so I can film her budget for the month. But she financed her car. And so um, it is the same car as mine, but a lot newer. And so she wants to drive everywhere, which is fine. And so I only budget $10 a week for gas. <laughs> so that's $20. And really, the my gas just needs to get me to and from my parents' house and then to and from my son's house. And other than that, I really don't go anywhere else. Then I have the cleaning ladies that are going to come once, and that is $100 for um, a cleaning. So down here where we have the total for variable expenses, we have $220. So now let's take $1160, which is what was left over, minus $220 is $940. Okay, so now let's come up here to my sinking funds. So leftover was 940. And I have uh, several sinking funds. The first one is vacation. And I am actually planning to go to Virginia in July, but I want to buy my plane ticket now. And so I'm going to budget $300 for vacation. I may not need that much. Uh, my friend gave me a hundred dollar gift certificate to Southwest Airlines, and so this will be enough to um, to pay for the the rest of the ticket, whatever that is. It could be fifty or sixty dollars. We'll see, but whatever. If there is anything left over, then I will definitely um, reallocate that money to house savings. Okay, then we have P.O. Box, and I'm allocating $20 to that. Gifts is going to get $20. Health is going to get $40, because I do have a doctor's appointment on February 20th. My copay is $30, and then $10 should cover any um, prescriptions that I might have. Then I have my fur babies. I'm going to allocate $40 to them. Car maintenance is going to get 40. Car insurance is going to get 40. Phone bill is going to get 20. So um, backing up just a, a touch, my car insurance I pay every six months in full. Um, I use uh, AAA. And then my phone bill, I use Mint Mobile and I pay that yearly. And so um, I'm only allocating $20 to, um, to that. Now, I do have a referral link down in the description box if you haven't tried Mint Mobile yet. Um, I love their services. They have plans starting at $15. Um, they have great service. I don't really notice any difference between them and AT&T, which is who I used before. And so if you're you know overpaying for phone uh, coverage, which if you're paying any more than $15 or $20 a month, you are. Um, I would strongly suggest checking out Mint Mobile. When you use my referral link, um, I actually get a credit on my bill, and I think I have about $140 or $160 in credits for my next bill. And so if um, it gets to August, whenever my bill is due next, and if I have enough credits, then I'll reallocate um, any money that I have in the phone bill to a house savings. So if you use my link, I appreciate it. They don't sponsor my videos. I just absolutely love their service. Um, all right, that's uh, enough plugging of <laughs> Mint Mobile. All right, next up is the trash bill, and I'm gonna allocate 20 to that. So we have 300 for vacation, then we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Then there is 80 and 80, which is 160. It's five o'clock in the morning, I hope my math is right. 
So that is a 500 and, is that right, 540? Yeah, it must be. Okay, I had a, a moment there. So sinking funds is 540. And if we subtract what was remaining, the 904 or 940, that leaves me with $400. Okay, so coming down here to um, savings. First is my Roth IRA and, well, let me take down this remaining amount first, which is 400. Okay, so I have my Roth IRA and that gets $308. It is an automatic transfer every time I get paid. And so now, let's see what we're going to be able to contribute to house savings. So 400 minus 308 is $92. So I don't really have a lot to save this time around for house savings, but that is okay because, uh, spoiler alert, my YouTube uh, Google AdSense income for the month of February is over $600. So I'm gonna have a lot to throw at house savings. So um, do look forward to that video. It is somewhere around in there and I'll share the exact amount with you. And then I'll also do another budget on the first of the month for um, March. And my daughter is gonna give me $500, half the rent plus 100 towards utilities. And, um, and so I do have a lot uh, to budget between now and the first of the month. So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, well, I think that is everything for my budget. Um, really kind of sucks that I, you know, had to um, pay the electric bill because the first time I did this budget on a scrap piece of paper, I was going to be able to fully fund my P.O. box and my phone bill, but, you know, crap happens and um, got to take care of our fur baby. So, I got to roll with punches and um, reallocate when I have to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.